Greetings YouTube Universe. So, last night, I, uh, I saw the, the full video of the, uh, As we all heard by now, you know the what happened in New Zealand, the uh, the Church Christ shootings, um, and I usually I was debating in my head for like half an hour whether or not I should watch this video, and I'll be honest, I. I, I never, like, rarely ever, ever, never watch the, these type of videos. Like, I have a few friends that are really into, like, either going on, like, I don't know if it's called, like, bestscore.com or or websites like rotten.com or I don't even know if rotten.com even exists anymore. But those type of videos, you know, whether it's someone committing suicide or people getting beheaded by Mexican cartel, shit like that. Um, I have a few friends that are just really into watching shit like that and every time they're like, oh, check this shit out or check this video out. This, some some person getting their head cut off or whatever the fuck or being burned alive. I'm just like, ah, eh, nah, I'll pass. I don't need to see that shit. Like, I don't... Not that I have a weak stomach for it. I just don't like... I just, I don't know, I, see no point in it, really, um, but, after I had heard that this sick motherfucker, and I won't mention his name, uh, the shooter had written a 73 page manifesto as to why he did it, his reason, his re his reasons as to why he did it, uh, which were, of course, you know, when a crazy fucking lunatic does shit like this, um, and he, and he's white, um, uh, it's your typical, you know, white nationalist, white supremacy, rhetoric fucking spewing bullshit, you know, of living in this fantasy land where he cannot, you know, stand back and see his people be abolished and erased from human history. He must do something in order to prolong the existence of his species and all this, all this stupid, retarded bullshit, right? And I was like, you know what, I'm going to read... When I read that it was 70, when I heard that it was 73 pages, I was like, I'm going to read the, the 73 page manifesto, and based on my interpretation, my feelings, my, my own little conclusion, I was like, <clears throat> after reading it, uh, that'll let me know as to whether... I do or I don't want to watch this video of him streaming uh, the massacre on Facebook Live. And I read it, and after reading it, it was just obvious to me. I was like, okay, so it's obvious this guy's not insane. I mean, he may be disconnected from reality somewhat but it's obvious to me he's not insane he 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 was always in control of what he was doing he was I mean, he obviously knew what he was doing I mean he was driving a vehicle at the beginning and at the end of the video so he was competent and coherent enough to know how to drive a car, know how to operate a semi-automatic weapon, you know, shit like that. And just after reading it, I was like, and it was obvious that this guy was 
in full control, and he wasn't clinically insane, and he knew what he was doing. I, I just, I wanted to see the video if, if more than anything, just to see how someone of who obviously has his wits about him, regardless of how contorted they may be, what can propel somebody to do something so horrible, like such a heinous act of walking into a mosque and just killing dozens and dozens of people for no other reason than your own brainwashed delusion of that, you know, it's because of birth rates and they have higher fertility rates and by the year 20, by the year 20, 2100, the, the white race is going to be all but gone and it's all because of these invaders that are invading, you know, our land. And, and I will admit the video was pretty graphic, pretty cold-hearted, obviously. Um, I hadn't willingly seen something like that in in a while. It's been years since I, like I said, I, I rarely ever get the urge or this morbid curiosity to want to see events like this, whether it's a shooting or, be or beheadings or people being burned alive, etc., etc. And, uh, it's just, that's pretty brutal. Um, one thing about the, the manifesto that, obviously, aside from its bullshit white nationalist rhetoric out of touch with reality bullshit uh, what kept on coming up and reappearing in what he was trying to say or explain what kept on kind of just getting under my skin was that he, he kept on saying uh, our land our land the, these these Muslims, these invaders, are taking over our land, or my land. And it just kept on, like... I, I don't know if it's because I'm a, like a cosmic space hippie, and it's like... It's like we're all fucking humans regardless of how much fucking melanin you have in your fucking skin tone, regardless of where your great-great-grandparents fucked, and then your grandparents were born, and then your grandparents fucked, and then your mom and dad were born, and then your mom and dad fucked, and then you were born. I've always found... I mean, I can understand being proud of your culture. I can understand being proud of your heritage. But as I've... As I've gotten older and older, I find people who are overly obsessed and proud of, like, their heritage. I just find them more and more just insane and a bit irrational. I just, I just, I don't know, I, for me personally, and, and again, I can understand being proud of your culture. Um, I can understand being proud of your heritage, because, I mean, there's glimpse, few glimpses and moments in time where I may be guilty of it myself as well, and just being proud of, you know, being Hispanic, having family, from Mexico, having family from the America, you know, from America, and just those two cultures always intermingling and intertwining with each other, with one another since I was a, since I was born, since I was a fucking kid. Um, so I can understand being proud of your culture, or your hereditary and whatnot, but when it reaches a certain point and you're almost obsessed with it, it's like. 
You had no say in the matter. You, you didn't. It wasn't your choice to be, you know, Irish. It wasn't your choice to be Mexican. It wasn't your choice to be Canadian. It wasn't your choice to be Chinese. It wasn't your choice to be Japanese. It wasn't your choice. And, and you know. And on and on it goes. You had no say in the matter. So why is it something that you're like overly, overly, overly proud of and keep on spouting this nationalistic, obsessive bullshit? I mean, it just seems kind of preposterous. But and one of the questions, because he wrote like somewhat of a Q&A to himself, I guess in case he got fucking killed or whatever and he had nothing he had no way of explaining like why why he did it on one of the pages of the of the 73 page manifesto he wrote like a writing himself a Q&A back and forth and he wrote the question do you hate muslims and uh his retort was a Muslim man or woman living in their homelands? No. A Muslim man or woman choosing to invade? A Muslim man or woman choosing to invade our lands and live on our soil and replace our people? Yes, I dislike them. Just what is what he wrote. And he went on later to say something about, like the only Muslim I truly hate is the is the is the con is the, con uh, the converted Muslim, like the the convert of uh, the, or you know the converting of someone who I guess is white, um, someone who's converted and is like someone when they're of my own people. And they turn their backs on their heritage and their cultures and their traditions. He's like, those are the only Muslims that I truly, truly hate. Something that effect. And it's just back to that thing of, of it's like, I think it's so complicated yet it's so simple. When you know, with this bullshit notion this this bullshit illusion of well that's that's my land that that right over there that over there that's my land and this is your land so don't cross that invisible line or you're gonna piss me off it's just I think this motherfucker just had a lot of hatred in his heart I don't know if it was because his dad died when he was a fucking young little kid I don't know if it was because his girlfriend broke his heart the day after his fucking balls dropped. I don't know. But this motherfucker just had a lot of hatred in his heart. Um, and it kind of reminded me of... Um, what came to mind was that scene from American History X when... Uh, when Danny's like, he's like, I'm sorry that that happened to you, Derek. Like, I'm, I'm he's like, I didn't know that's what happened. He's like, I'm sorry that that happened to you. Pretty much after the scene where Edward Norton's character gets raped in the prison showers, and, and that scene came to mind when I was reading this motherfucker's manifesto, and. When it's, when it's Derek saying, he's like, after Danny's like, I'm sorry that that happened to you. You have Derek saying, uh, he's like, he's like, I'm not, he's like, I'm, he's like, I'm not, like, meaning I'm not sorry. He's like, I'm not. He's like, I'm lucky. He's like, I'm lucky because it's wrong. He's like, it's wrong, Danny. He's like. He's like, it's wrong, it was eating me up, 
and it was it was going to kill me. And he says, he's like the whole time I was, you know, like in, the whole time I was in prison. He's like. It's like I kept asking, I kept asking myself the whole time. He's like, "How did I buy into this shit?" And he says, "It was, it was because I was pissed off. And nothing I ever did took that feeling away. And just, just Edward Norton, just you know, Derek Edward Norton's character saying." The whole time I was locked up in prison, he just kept on asking himself over and over, how did I buy into this shit? And it was mostly because I was pissed off. And nothing I ever did ever took that feeling away. So I think these type of people that go on these fucking killing sprees, People that go on these types of, you know, ma massacres and shooting up mosques in the name of white nationalism and in the name of, oh, it's because they're taking away my land and they're, you know, I, I can no longer stand seeing my people being replaced by these invaders and all that horseshit rhetoric is just a shield or a mask. It's a force field that these motherfuckers wear around their soul. And the, the reality of the situation is that they're just fucking angry and pissed off at the fucking world. That's all it really is. And they could hide behind all this... Bullshit manifesto... Sack of shit rhetoric all they want, but... There's no truth to it. Because no one, no one chooses their heritage. No one chooses the color of their skin. No one chooses the amount of melanin in your fucking skin tone when you're born. And guess what? Guess what, Einstein? Um, I don't know if you all are aware of this, but... You know, you can grab uh, a Chinese female and a Mexican male and, and have a kid. They can have a kid together. You can grab a Canadian woman and an Irish man and they'll be able to have a kid together. Sperm and the egg meat and, and they'll be able to have a kid together. You can grab an African male and you can grab an Australian woman, and, and if and if they have intercourse, and and there's a chance that you, guess what, they can have a fucking kid together. If you grab someone from North Korea, and you grab someone from California, and they have sex, and nine months later, bloop, a baby comes out, they can have a kid together. It doesn't matter. What fucking ethnicity you are, what language you speak, the skin tone of your fucking skin, none of that shit fucking matters, because guess what? We're all fucking human motherfucking beings derived from the same motherfucking species. We've all fucking migrated out of the fucking jungles of Africa and you fast forward decades and fucking centuries fucking later and this is the fucking result this is the fucking result and it's just Being a space is the place, hippie. Um, everything just seems so simple yet so complicated. It's like, why can't we all just fucking 
drop all this bullshit already and like so much fucking hate in this fucking world man so much fucking hate in this goddamn fucking world and what what's it gonna take what's it gonna take for You know, it'd be nice, well, even if it takes 500 years. It'd be nice if, say, 500 years from now, humanity just wakes up and realizes, hey, you know what? We're all sharing the same fucking planet. And if we don't learn how to live amongst one another and respect one another, we're not going to be on this planet much longer. What's it going to take? What's it going to take?